Let's look at a couple example problems. Japan's population is decreasing. Its growth rate was negative 0.2% in 2013. The population of Japan was 127.3 million people in 2013. If this rate continues, what will Japan's population be in 2050? So what we're going to do to solve this problem is we're going to use our formula that I showed you, or you could use the exponential growth formula that's in one of my previous videos. So let's go ahead and do this. So y is equal to the initial times 1 plus the rate to the t power in y. That's our output. That's what we're looking for. That's what the population is going to be in 2050. And we've got 127.3, which we're going to add the zeros later because it's 127.3 million. 1 minus 0 0.002, because we're changing it to a decimal. To the, so we're going 37 years from 2013 to 2050. Now that we have that figured out, we just follow the order of operations, do exponents first. Obviously, you're going to be using a calculator for this step. And you're going to wind up with uh, a long irrational number, and then I'm going to multiply it. I'm going to leave that in my calculator and multiply it by 127.3, and you get your final answer to be 118. 118 million. 211,147 people in Japan in 2050. But as we know, the, the growth rates are much more complex than this problem, example problem would suggest. In 2016, Apple stock grew approximately 24%. And as we know, stocks are very volatile and it's highly unlikely it would steadily grow at this rate. But Let's do it anyway. If it continued to grow at this rate, then you have 100 shares of Apple stock. How much would you have in 10 years? Apple stock is currently priced at $120 per share. And this is real data. I looked it up. So let's go ahead and solve it. We're going to use the same formula. So we're going to use y is equal to a 1 plus r to the t power. OK, so our t is 10. And our r is 0.24. I already changed it to a decimal. And our a is going to be 1, 2, 0, 0, 0. Because I went ahead and multiplied. We have $120 per share for 100 shares. And now we're just going to plug in the numbers and solve it. So y is equal to 12,000, 1.24 raised to the 10th power. And the solution is... $103,133. That's a lot. Let me double check that. And that is indeed the correct answer. So what a good investment that would be if it would continue to grow at that rate. But I don't think it will. I think it will flatten out because there's a lot of competition for Google and Samsung. That's our final example problem. I'm going to go ahead and upload this video. Hopefully you practice these. And next, the next video will be about compound interest.